Hello, my name is Alfredo and this is Off The Strip where I introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip or take you on one of my many adventures. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. In this video, we are going to go explore the pyramids of Giza, Saqqara and a bunch of other Egyptian stuff. Exciting, here we go. So today we are going to visit different groups of pyramids at Kisa and also at Saqqara and Memphis city which was the first capital of the United Egyptian Kingdom which was founded by King Minis, the first king of the first dynasty. It dates back to 3200 before Christ. Okay? Wow! Before we get too far into the video, do me a favor, help out my video and hit that like button. So here we are at the Pyramids of Giza entrance. You can see the appearance behind me. The entrance, let's go buy our tickets. Hey, take your tickets. Take it. Now I got tickets. All right, so we've got our tickets to go into the Pyramids of Giza. So we're gonna check it out. Pretty excited. This has been on my bucket list for a little while now. Here we are walking up to the Pyramids. Pretty amazing. Whenever going to Cairo, Egypt, I highly recommend getting a local tour guide. They'll stay with you all day, tell you everything you need to know, get you where you need to go, help you get past lines, and more importantly, they will help you navigate around people that are just trying to take your money or even scam you. So this big pyramid, there's 2 million and 300 blocks of stone that uh, built this uh, pyramid. Nothing, it's just all by, by weight, there's, not, there's no cement or anything, they're just stacked. 2 million 300 blocks of stone and over here is the city of workers. This is where all the workers lived that built that pyramid. So we are at the base of this pyramid. Look at me touching. This has been here more than 4,000 years ago and here I am touching it right now. COVID? Don't know. Touching it. <laughs> We're climbing the pyramids. Woohoo! Alright, so we are, pro tip, bring an umbrella. It's hot. It reminds me of when we were in Athens, up in the, um, up in Athens. It's, it's hot, I can't even think. Anyway, so bring an umbrella. It's a saving grace. If you're in a, a hotel, usually hotels have umbrellas for you to borrow, so check that out. When you're in Giza, make sure you get on a horse-drawn carriage or a camel. It is a massive complex. There's no way you would enjoy it walking around the desert. Another reason to get a guide, because they know the fair price. So here we are at the panoramic view of the Pyramids of Giza, just taking pictures, people on camels, having a great time. Okay, so we are about to go into inside this pyramid. Um, it's gonna be an adventure. It's supposed to be claustrophobic. If you're claustrophobic, I do not advise it, or they do not advise it. So we're gonna see what it's like. Cause I am a little bit claustrophobic, but when when in Egypt, can't pass it up. Okay, so going into the pyramid is really hard for someone with bad knees like me. This is this is it. It's about three and a half, four feet tall. So here we go. Adventure. So um, is there an escalator? <laughs> I feel like it's getting lower and smaller. So we're at the base. Oh, 
that bad? That was pretty bad. Oh. That's, that's worse than climbing the Duomo in Florence. So once you get to the middle, it's anticlimactic. All there is is this little room with a hole where a sarcophagus used to be. So we've climbed inside the second pyramid and there was a sarcophagus or a tomb right in the middle, we were right in the middle. Um, of course, there was a guy there that is willing to take your picture for a tip. Mm -hmm. So I was like, no, thank you. But hey, if you guys want a, a picture, go for it. That's their livelihood. But I did, certainly didn't need a picture of the tomb with me in it. Wow, that was, that was harder than I thought. So climbing through these pyramids are super adventure for sure. A lot of fun, worth it. Had to do it. When am I gonna be back, right? Don't know when, but had to do it. And, but it was a lot of fun. We made inside the middle of that pyramid. So the head of the Sphinx is actually carved out of one giant stone. So it's pretty impressive. It is the guard to the tomb. So that's, that's the Sphinx's job. So we're about to check out what's inside underneath the Sphinx. So the walls are made out of granite, while the floor is made out of alabaster. So there are 16 columns in this tomb. This is where they made mummies, you guys. Here we are at the Sphinx on a hot day in Egypt. Amazing, more than 4,000 years old. All right, so that we're leaving the pyramids right now, heading back to our car, our awesome driver Omar, waiting for us somewhere out here. Um, Pyramids of Giza, it's an adventure. Should you go? Yes, absolutely. Just be smart. Um, yeah, but you know what? Um, before coming, I watched and did a lot of research. I, I didn't find a lot of quote unquote scammers or anything like that, but it might be because we, we have uh, Sarah, our awesome tour guide, that kind of filtered all that for us. So, there you go. Okay, so now we are at Memphis, where uh, the big statue of Ramses is at, and some columns, and some jars, stuff like that. This is a statue of Ramses the Great. He was the greatest pharaoh that ruled ancient Egypt until 1213 before Christ. So that was the statue of Ramses the second. He's regarded as the most strongest, most powerful pharaoh in Egyptian history. This open air museum is called the Memphis Museum. It's just south of Cairo. It's where you can find that statue of Ramses and a lot of other ancient Egyptian artifacts. So 
So we are at Saqqara. This behind me is the oldest pyramid in the world. It's almost 5,000 years old. Saqqara is an ancient Egyptian village. One of the many things it's known for, it served as the burial ground for the royal family. Saqqara contains the oldest complete stone building in history. This was built in the 3rd dynasty. So this was the very first pyramid in Egypt. As you can see, um, it's, it's a little different than Giza. These are smaller blocks, so I guess that's their first attempt. Phase one, I don't know. But it is the oldest pyramid in Egypt. So this was under sand until about in the 1700s when a French archaeologist found it and dug it up. What an eventful day. Man, we went from Giza to Papyrus Store, Memphis, um, here at Saqqara. It's so hot, but I think we're going to wrap it up for today. Um, head back to the hotel and just chill at the pool and get something refreshing. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe, guys. Thank you for joining. All right, to cap our second day in Egypt, we're gonna take a cool cruise on the Nile River, enjoying the sunset, so. Sometimes they have to we're just chilling, cruising the Nile. So we're turning around, our captain is turning the sail. resort is pretty amazing we've got the Red Sea behind us with beach access we've got the pool and then the Sahara Desert the water in the Red Sea is so nice the sand soft super soft it's almost like you're walking on velvet um, I'm loving it it's a great resort